So, what's up for today? I would like to finish this new space gas station. The symmetry of the vessel is a little bit off due to the missing fuel tank on this side. This is gonna be our next mission to get one of those big fuel tanks up into orbit and to have a little rendezvous with our gas station here. Here you can see the fuel tank which we need to connect with our space gas station. It weighs about 90 tons which we now need a rocket for. It has a weight over 600 tons and a delta V of 8,500 meters per second hidden separator boosters more of them here i had to use four individual vector engines let's get to the launch site here we are put on the sas and power down to 80 percent and we need to go towards east meaning 90 degrees let's start the countdown lift off of the last part of our space gas station going onto a low orbit around 150 kilometers of altitude rotate the vessel a little bit but slowly since the vessel is so heavy and over 2000 meters so let's just start the gravity turn towards 90 degrees slowly towards the sun and we are about to decouple here we go This was good. Prepare for the next decoupling. Here we go. And now this is gonna be, again, quite a long burn. And where is our Kerbal Space Center? Down there. From now on we will gain some significant distance. The entire top of the vessel is full of fuel. Controlling this rocket feels like moving a big tanker ship. Lay our nose a little bit down, but we will keep it above the horizon. Maybe a little bit more up since I don't want to risk anything. And once again we are about to decouple. altitude which is good try to keep the apoapsis and periapsis below 150 kilometers that's okay and shut off the engines for now have a little look for our space gas station where it is there it is combined 25 just set it as a target and right now it is way behind us but we will keep our periapsis low to catch up on our lower orbit until we are actually behind the space gas station just fast forward this might take some time Here we can see the Kerbal Space Center right below us. So it's time to work on our periapsis a bit, head for our prograde. Reignite the stage. That's okay. Fast forward once again to see how our distance changes. I think I will also slow down here to put up our apoapsis up to the target altitude. Slow down a bit so we don't overshoot. We stay below 150 kilometers. Fast forward once again, just like a little space race. So where's our apoapsis? Oh sh I missed it. I didn't see it. I don't know why. I think we will overshoot a little bit. We're overshooting a lot. I will now change to the prograde so we can work on our periapsis. I think we will try to get the periapsis up to 150 kilometers, meaning the target altitude, and we will put up the apoapsis up to 160, 165 kilometers. This is some sloppy flying, but I think we will manage it. Let's just make one or two more rounds until the station catches up with us. When we reach the apoapsis, we will put up the periapsis up to 150 kilometers. Here we are. Go to our prograde, please. So let's just reignite the stage and put it up to 150 kilometers. Station catches up with us since we are now on a higher orbit. I will now put down the apoapsis to let's say 160 kilometers. 
that's okay. Check this next intersection here. 30 kilometers of altitude and 150 meters of relative speed. This sounds very, very good. Change the velocity mode to target. So we see the relative speed between us and the target. I will stay a bit of the right of the retrograde and throttle up so our retrograde moves towards the anti-target. And the most important thing is that the relative speed is going down, which is happening right now. The distance between us and the target gets lower and lower just as the relative speed perfect shut off the engine. Just five kilometers apart from our target and a relative speed of 70 meters per second at this point. Fast forward to this next point of action. And here we can already see the target. It's only 20 kilometers away from us. That's a <laughs> good sign and a relief for me. Go down to normal speed. This is it. Let's just look for our anti-target which is over there. So I will balance that out by going to the right of the retrograde and give some throttle. That's a good sign that the relative speed goes down. Just follow the retrograde as it moves towards the anti-target. This looks very, very good. Okay, this is enough. Time to aim towards our target. That's okay. I will go up a little bit so our prograde moves to the target as soon as we reignite the stage. So please accelerate slowly and throttle up to let's say 10 meters per second. And of course we still need to watch the fuel since our last stage is almost empty. And here's the next intersection with a separation of 350 meters with a related speed of 16 meters per second. This is perfect. So let's just fast forward to this next point of action. Go back down to normal speed. Okay, now we can see it. It gives you a better feeling of the true distance of this game. I really love it. So please go to retrograde so we can bring down our related speed. So here we are and we need to act fast. There's our retrograde, there's our anti-target. Stay here and throttle up to bring down the rate of speed and to get our heading right. I'll slow down a little bit. Our rate of speed is down to one meters per second. Choose a random direction. And decouple our stage. And it doesn't head for our target. We need to get rid of the nose too. Now the coupler is free, so head for our target, change our rotation so we can work a little bit better to have it a little bit easier with the docking process. I will switch off the pitch yaw and roll rotations, keep the starboard ventral and aft directions. RCS on and let's go. Let's say two meters per second because we are below 300 meters apart. It's time to break us. This looks good so far. Choose the docking port for our target, set as target and head right for it. I will go a little bit more to the right and now we're heading right for the docking port. Let's try to keep it that way. Oh, that's it! KSP2 finishes the docking process automatically. So unnecessary, but yeah. We successfully finished our new space gas station. 40 tons of CH4, 170 tons of oxidizer and 16 tons of monopropellant. This should be enough for some refillings in the future. So thank you very much again for joining me here today. I hope you enjoyed it. Looking forward to have you again on one of my next videos here in KSP2. Thanks for watching and take good care of yourself.